What do you think, Booger? What did you hear there? Well, I think he was being very honest. I don't, I don't think Tom was taking a shot at Bill. Uh, practices and, and, and the entire organization is ran different, Greeny, when you have a defensive guy. Uh, defensive guys tend to cater to their side of the football. Practices aren't as long, uh, a, a little bit more detail. Offensive coaches, and Greg will tell you this, they want to run every play in the playbook, and that puts the defense at a disadvantage, especially from a, a conditioning standpoint. They want to see every play over and over and over again. Having played for John Gruden, practices were as long as you can ever imagine. <laughs> I don't think Tom Brady is, is taking a shot at Bill. I just think Tom Brady is having a breath of fresh air from an offensive guy that's catering the practice toward him and everything and every play that he wants to see him run. Some long practices being had down here in Tampa. What, what is your experience on that, Greg? Well, I, I can remember. We just heard from him. I mean, Nick Saban, obviously a, a <laughs> part of the Bill Belichick tree. And I could remember, Boog, you probably remember this too, if the offense were to go out during training camp and if we were to rough up the defense, you know what Coach would say as he met with the team at the end of the day? Guys, today's practice was awful. All right? <laughs> well, if the offense played poorly – then he'd come out and say, guys, that was an incredible practice. Great job of everybody couldn't do what they're supposed to do. So, I mean, it's one of those things where it's all a matter of perspective. When you're a defensive guy, you naturally kind of root for the defense, and that, I'm sure, was the case with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady for a number of years. Not a shot, but definitely a different approach when you have an offensive-minded guy calling the shots. Kimberly, what do you think you heard when you heard what Brady said there? He doesn't sound like a guy who misses Bill Belichick much, and that's okay. I mean, picture it. You've been married 20 years. You've got six beautiful kids that you've raised together, a successful family business. But after all this time, the relationship has run its course, and you want to try something else. So now you found someone who thinks you look good. Um, you know, after 20 years of hearing the same monotonous voice, You've got somebody with so much energy wearing these cool little kangles and stuff, <laughs> and he's telling you, man, at 42, you still are spry, hon, but, you know, I still think you have a lot left in the tank. I mean, if you're Brady, you're rejuvenated. You're hearing how great you are. What is not to love about this situation if oh, you're Tom Brady? I love the analogy, Bug. First of all, if you've been married 20 years with six kids, I wouldn't have left because child support and alimony <laughs> are going to be hell to pay, Kimberly. Fair <laughs> point. Fair <laughs> point. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, that said, Booger, does it make sense? A at some point, yes, there is just the offense-defense thing. But then isn't there at some point the idea that maybe, for the moment, he's feeling a little love that he wasn't feeling before? Well, Greeny, just any time you get in a new situation, there's always going to be a breath of fresh air. And I think Tom Brady, for the first time, is like a chef. He, he, he's kind of been under ma one management, and now he walks into a situation where Bruce Arians and Byron Leftwich say, hey, big guy, what do you want to do? What meal do you want to create? Better yet, how can we help you create it? What do we need to do? Bill Belichick is famous for having his thumb on every detail in that organization, and basically everybody beats to Bill Belichick's drum. Well, now in Tampa, Bruce Arians, hey, baby, it's no risk it, no biscuit. Tom, what do you want to do? How do you want to do this? <laughs> and so I think Tom Brady is so excited to have a, a little bit looser atmosphere, uh, per se, here in Tampa Green. And just a quick final thought, Kimberly, because I, I, I saw a quote from Arians saying that on the first day, Brady was throwing 60-yard dimes. Do we expect that to be the offense and the people you talk to? Is, is, is that is the offense that we have been accustomed to seeing from Bruce Arians in which the quarterback tends to get hit a lot because these are a lot of long passes and long developing plays. Is that your sense of what the offense is going to look like with a 43-year-old Brady running it? Do, did we not see Jameis throwing it down the field? Expect Brady to, to get to unleash some balls downfield, and it's good. He's got the TB12 method. He's in shape, 42, 43 years old. He, he can withstand some hits, but I think opening it up and the weapons that they have, at some point they're going to air it out, and Brady will love it. All right, Greg, final thought. What, what the expectation from that offense with Arians working together with a rejuvenated Brady? What I love is Arians, I mean, down in distance, just throw it out the window. We're pushing it down the field. We got great weapons on the outside, and we're going to find some isolation opportunities to press the ball down the field. That's Bruce Arians 101. 
He wants to take deep shots. He wants to give the quarterback the opportunity to make big plays. And if nothing's there, find a guy underneath in a matchup against the linebackers. So this is a really a tailor-made offense to what the personnel is that Brady has around him. And it should be very, very exciting to see him once again really empower the quarterback and really stretch the field and put a lot of stress on defenses throughout the NFC South. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.